hello so i wanted to record a, a short video um just to briefly share with you all something that's just been blessing the hearts and lives of children all over the world i am so honored and most importantly so humbled god gets all the glory um to have been chosen to write such a beautiful book and for it to be so effective and for it to be blessing so many children and even parents i mean it it blesses me um every time i read it just because i know where i was when i wrote the book i knew i was in a season of anxiety so i knew the authenticity um the love and the genuine want for children to receive this book was just so real so sincere so i want to just go ahead and begin by sharing a few things um for those of you who may not know i am the the author and illustrator of big kids pray um big kids pray is inspired by first peter 5 7 and it's concerning positive mental health and prayer it is so important to me um one of my duties as a mother is to give my children the things that i need i need it and the things that I learned, even if it could save them some hardship, um, some advers adversity, just to simply equip them for things, you know, earlier in their lives that I learned late in mine. And so Big Kids Pray is so special. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to share a few little insiders on the book for those of you who do want to purchase the books. Um... I will give you that. I'll also provide the link in the caption um, for those of you who would like to figure out a way to purchase this book. But I wanted to share some inside, uh, you know, pages of why is it so effective and what God has truly given to me and the different activities or exercises that I've provided in the book to really capture the hearts of children and to really help them learn how to connect with God on a whole nother level. Um, so I wanted to first start off by talking about the back of the book. So the back of the book is so special to me because um, it was written with my child in mind. Um, when she first explained to her father and I that she was feeling anxious, it was in the form of wiggly. That's the way that she articulated it. And so, you know, I, I thought to myself, you know, there's so many other children who have these innocent terms in which they like to convey their emotions and it would be nice to start informing our children as well as we can allow the rest of the world to inform our children whether that's through social media or these TikToks and all this different stuff YouTube you know why not provide them with something that's going to help them for the rest of their lives you know um, which is just mental health terms to help them understand what they're feeling and what it actually means um, so I thought that was so beautiful and I'm noticing that, you know, God giving me this um, wisdom to include this has been really changing the hearts and really blessing lives because it also helps parents. You know, sometimes it's difficult when you're reading a book and you're going through it and you're just trying to get through it and your kids like, well, what does that mean? And there's no simple way to really explain, you know, some of these words, these mental health words to your children or just any words for that matter. So, I mean, it's so simplified. It's kid friendly. It's just, it's just beautiful. And so I wanted to share that part with you all. I also want to share um, this part. So I have a comprehensive exercise that I provided um, a lot of times we read books and, you know, the biggest thing that I've learned about children is that their biggest struggle is with comprehension is you ask a child, like, well, what does that mean? Or do you remember what you read? And sometimes it, you know, their attention span, they just kind of go everywhere. So I thought it was really nice when God had gave me this idea to include a page to pretty much create an interaction between the reader, um, and the person who is reading the book to the child, whether, whether that's a parent, a friend, a babysitter, whoever it is that reads this book, or the child themselves, because I understand there are some big kids who are reading, like my little big kid. And so um, I thought that would be cool. 
to include a page for children to better understand prayer and to fully connect with God, understanding that when God wants us to give our issues, our concerns, our fears, our scares, our bad dreams, our sadness, all those things, anxiety to him, there is a way he wants us to feel, you know, when we're done. And it's not just about praying. It's about how to be effective, how to fully experience that prayer in that moment with God. So um, I also included a prayer I thought was pretty nice, you know, just for children who may not know where do I start or parents who may be like, well, I don't know where to start or what's a cool, simplified way to introduce a prayer to my child without... Um, bombarding them with all those extravagant words so I thought when God gave me that I'm like wow Lord this is this is huge you know and then I also went along and provided some other exercises for the children representation is important so they can represent what they're reading so they can see themselves what does it look like for me to be a prayer warrior as a child you know color themselves in personalize customize it and just some references as well just to get them help them so they can resort to when they do feel overwhelmed and they need some relief and there's some war scriptures for children um i really hope this blesses you all i will say that um for me and for my household it has been such a blessing my children look forward to listening to their nighttime read and it's such an honor to know that there are resources there are things that will give ki kids good night rest you know and you know the peace of god the love of god and the truth of his word is so real and that putting it into your home is so much bigger than just going to church and assuming that a child will just learn from your example of just what you do but actually giving them an opportunity to experience god for themselves and allowing them to pray instead of us as parents being the ones to lead in prayer but allowing them to say the prayer and feel confident and know that it's effective and see the the fruit in the evidence of their prayer you know when they feel better and it's just amazing so for those of you who do want to purchase this book you can purchase it at www.com i'm sorry www dot sprouting seeds llc dot com um and um yeah you can purchase this book for yourself um for your child or for others i hope this was a blessing i will talk to you soon